Francesco Forgione was born in the small Italian village of Pietrelcina on May 25, 1887. His family, though poor, was very devout. From an early age, Francesco was very pious and prayerful. He also began to see the devil at an early age, as well as apparitions from Jesus and the Virgin Mary. At age 16, he entered the Capuchin novitiate and was given the name Friar Pio. In 1910, after seven years of study, he was ordained to the priesthood and became Padre Pio. Ten years later, while praying in front of a crucifix, Padre Pio received the stigmata, making him the first priest in the history of the church to receive it. He was very embarrassed about the visible nature of the wounds of Christ and often prayed that God would allow him to suffer invisibly. He wore gloves to cover his hands and even underwent surgery without anesthetic to ensure that the doctor did not sneak a look at the stigmata without his permission. Padre Pio was also known to have the gifts of bilocation and of reading souls. He heard confessions for twelve hours a day and knew just the right words to say to a sinner. He was also able to tell if a penitent was sincere, and he astounded many who entered his confessional by accurately reciting their sins for them. The saintly man never complained about unjust accusations leveled against him, even when he was deprived of saying Mass. He assiduously dedicated his time to prayer, saying over twenty rosaries in one day. The Mass was the high point of his spiritual life, and people flocked to his Masses, which lasted for over an hour. As blood trickled from the stigmata, it was easy to see the Christ crucified in the person of Padre Pio saying Mass. Padre Pio died on September 23, 1968 at the age of 81. 100,000 people attended his funeral. On June 16, 2002, over 500,000 people gathered in St. Peter's Square to hear Pope John Paul II declare Padre Pio the saint of Pietrelcina. Thank you.